Um, <laughs> I got contacted by Skype the other day and they said, basically, they didn't say it this way, but basically what they said was stop complaining, we fixed it. And if you go to the web version of Skype, which is what you see when you're on OneDrive.com or Outlook.com, there is now a switch to turn off notification sounds. And this has been my big complaint because I like you. Right. I mean, this is this is huge. And sure enough, it's a switch. It's just turn it off. And it's it perseveres across your account. Um, yeah. Finally. So. Finally. Yep. Wow. It's good news. That is good news. Does I haven't that, been able to say nice something nice about Skype in about nine months. So you have that, to use the um, you is either Skype app UWP or desktop. No, this is the the web version. Web Skype Skype. For yeah. The so web. in other words, like I might want to like I use the web client for email, right? So what I want to do is use Outlook.com and have it just running in a web browser while I do other stuff. But I turn off Skype notification sounds. I don't need them. So on the desktop, that's easy. You turn them off. But even if they're turned off on the desktop Skype, which is what I'm using, Skype oh, is always running it. the web client. The no and yes. it makes these terrible sounds. It's like, bleh, bleh. <laughs> yeah. like it's, it's the most awful sound. Um, anyway, now you can turn it off. So thank you. Thank you, Microsoft.